Okay, now that we got the tune-up stuff done, we're gonna move on to another filter that uh, hopefully will help this thing out. So that's gonna be the uh, fuel filter. So we're gonna get back here. This is in the uh, passenger side, underneath the rear end of the car. Here's the battery box muffler. Over here is your fuel tank. So up there is a bolt. You can see that comes down. What we're trying to do is move this panel right here but right under here is where the fuel filter is in the fuel pump. Well, I watched the wrong video about how to change the uh, fuel filter. Uh, apparently they did these uh, things differently over the years. So then I got stuck in a situation where the fuel tank started to come down on me. I had to hold it up, get a bucket of bird seed that uh, was close enough that I could uh, kick with my legs, get it over there, prop it up. Then I had to get the uh, jack, use the jack to prop it up, and then put those bolts back in. So this time, I'm going to get the uh, last bolt in, get this thing, uh, the uh, whole fuel tank back up where it's supposed to go, and then uh, do it the right way. On this one, there's that bolt right there, smaller one. And then over here on this strap, there's a bolt right there, the smaller one down towards the bottom, not the one on the top. Undo those two, and then slide this out from here, where that crack is right there. This piece back here, that might have some gold spray paint on it, that'll come out. So, now that I've fixed myself after I about dropped the whole fuel tank on me, that bolt there, and that bolt right there in the middle of the screen. Undo those two, okay? Not those, unless you wanna drop the whole fuel tank, but anyway. Hopefully I didn't mess anything up. Got it back in here, all bolted up. Now we'll uh, start over pretty much and uh, do it the right way. Okay, so here's this thing. After you take these two little nuts off right here, that's it, just those two nuts. And then you get in here and you can see what you got. The blue thing is the pump. This canister right here is the filter. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, work on getting that apart, putting a new one in. Should just be un undo both sides. Probably spill a little fuel. I'm gonna get my uh, little pan that wasn't big enough to hold all the oil, but I'm sure it'll hold the uh, fuel that drips out of here. So that's it. We'll get to working on that, get some wrenches and get that apart. Okay, here we go. Got this off. Um, you can see that piece there. This piece over here. There it is, the way it came out sitting right there. So basically, you just have to uh, bust both sides loose. Uh, they were both pretty tight, um, to be honest with you. But uh, they, they came loose once you put a little, little bump on them. Uh, and then you just have to undo that little, uh, I don't know, banjo clip thing. This little thing right here. And then I slid it out that way because this side is a little bit more flexible than that S, um, S line on this side. So anyway, I uh, got that out. I'll probably wipe off some of the dirt on that uh, fuel pump and stuff. Just clean up in here a little bit. Uh, but there's the old one. Did put some gas down in my catch pan. It actually helped clean out some of that old oil. And then right here, we got the new one. So we'll get that one put in. Um, Even tells you the direction it needs to go but you can just tell from the fittings the way the other one was so we'll get that one put in and uh, hopefully that'll help out with the fuel a little sneak peek too look what else we got in here now we went two wheels anyway we'll get back to you when we get this one put in okay new one's in um you can't mess it up because the fittings are different on both ends so you can't put it in backwards but got both sides tightened down. Um, got that little, uh, little strap tightened back down. Uh, what the tools it took to make it happen was uh, 19 uh, on the wrench there, screwdriver. And then I used a pair of, uh, you know, a crescent wrench, sorry. Um, because to be honest with you, the uh, on the hard line up here, this one right here, 
it, it was just a little bit smaller than a 19, but I don't have an 18 millimeter and I, I didn't try a standard to be honest with you, but anyway, I just used the, uh, the crescent wrench on it. This side's a 19, and then over here on this side, both of these are 19s. Uh, that said, I don't have two 19, in, 19 millimeter uh, wrenches, and this is pretty small, so I used the wrench here, and then the crescent wrench over here. Worked fine, just, just well, was really tedious and made sure I had the crescent wrench on there square and cinched down really tight, uh, and I didn't have any problems. Didn't strip anything out or round anything out, but, so that's, uh, that's done. So now I'll put that, that piece of metal right there back on with those two uh, nuts and we'll be all complete with the fuel filter. Okay, that little 10 millimeter bolt there, not really, um, it's what you gotta attach. And there's one more over here on this side. It's, it's hard to see, it's up in there. But uh, there you go, that one might be out of focus, but it's in there. Um, anyway, do that. Uh, the front side just slides up underneath the black piece there. So once that's in there, it holds it in place. So there we go. Job done. Fuel filter changed. And on to the next.